Okay, this is mod 2. In this lesson, we're trying to take the standard algorithm and we're going to learn from the area model on how it how the standard algorithm works. So we're going to start off by drawing an area model. And the nice thing is I can pick whichever fact I'm best at. And this one here, let's say I'm better at my 1s than I am my 4s. So I'm going to put 24 on top. And I'm going to split my area model. And I'm going to use my distributive property to break up 21. I'll put 1 and 20 here. Now, to solve this area, it's 1 times 24, which equals 24. And here I got 2 times 24, which is going to be 48 times 10, gives me 480. Because that was 24 times 20. Now when I add them together, I have 24, 480. And I add them together, we end up with 4, 10, carry 1, 504. Now the key here is, now the standard algorithm. We start with the 1, and that's 1 times 24, would be 24. If you notice, it's the same thing as that standard algorithm right there in the area model. Now, the second one would be 20 times 24, but I'm going to go ahead and put my placeholder here so I can use my basic math facts. Now, we've got 2 times 24, which would be 48. When we add those together, we end up with 504. Now, one thing I like you to do is I like you to do an estimation to make sure that's reasonable. And we do that by looking at our factors, and this is either 20 or 30, and it's closer to 20. 21 is closer to 20. So I know my real answer should be close, approximately 400, and our answer was 500. So that's a good, reasonable answer. Now we're switching over just to standard algorithm. So we have 314. We're multiplying that by 22. We're starting with our 1s, and 2 times 4 would be 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 would be 6. Now we're going to put our, it's actually now 20 times 314. So we're going to put our placeholder in there so we can use a basic math facts again. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So when we add everything up, we're going to have 10 carry our 1, which is 9, and 6,908. Now if we do an estimation, 314 is closer to 300, 22 is closer to 20. Multiply them, I know 2 times 3 is 6, and I have three zeros. So our estimation is pretty close. Let's go to B. Now we have 413 times 22. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Put our placeholder in so we can do 20 times 413, but now we're going to use our just our basic math fact of 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Add it up, 6, 8, 8 and 2 is 10, carry our 1, it'll be 9,086. Let's do our estimation. Four, 413 is closer to 400. 22 is closer to 20, 2 times 4 is 8, and we have three zeros. So our answer should be approximately 8,000, we have 9,000, we're good. Going to C, 213 times 32, multiplying out is 213 times 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. We have now we have 30 times 213, so put the place value holder in there. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. Add up our partial products, we have 6, 11, 7 and 1 is 8, 68, 16. Doing our estimation, 213 would be closer to 200, 32 would be closer to 30, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 zeros. Pretty close estimate. Okay, a young snake measures 2,300 meters long. During the course of his life, he will grow 13 times his length, which is the length when he will be fully grown. Okay, so let's look at a tape diagram first. And we know right now it says 2,300 of a meter long. It says over its life, 
you will do 13 times that long. And we're looking for total length. So by the tape diagram, we can see it's 23 hundredths times 13. So if we do the standard algorithm, do 23 hundredths times 13, we're just going to ignore the decimal point, and 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, but our placeholder, 1 times 3 would be 3, 1 times 2 would be 2, and we ended up with 299, but then we have to put the place value back in. And we can see we have two place values here we have to return. Could we... Now, so that's 2.99 meters long. Let's look at an area model and see if we get the same thing. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 23 hundredths and put it on top in unit form. I'm going to take the 10 and the 3 and put it here. And I know 3 times 23 is going to be 69 hundredths. And 10 times 23 will be 230 hundredths. When I add 69 hundredths plus 20, 230 hundredths, I'm going to get 299 hundredths. Well, I know when I rewrite 299 hundredths, it's going to be 2.99 because the last nine has to be in the hundredth spot. Number four, Zenon earns $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. What would his pay be for that period? So let's look at the tape diagram again. And I know it says that he earns $142 per shift. And it says he has 12 shifts. And it wants to know what his total pay was. And I can see that's going to be 142 times 12. Well, using a standard algorithm this time, I can go 142 times 12. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 2. But our placeholder, 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. We have 4, 8 and 2 is 10, carrier 1 would be 6 and 7. So this total pay would equal $1,704 for that period.